The Great Escape begins today in Jade Creek. Jade Creek is a very speedy oriented level, yet there's a lot of enemies trying to kill you. Those meteorites, for instance, will turn into robots. Um, one of the best ways to avoid them is to do an attack like the Dragon Boost. There's a lot of underwater segments too, so yeah, this is when the game gets more intense, folks. And the underwater mechanics, I didn't, I glossed over earlier. Except, whoa, ludicrous speed! Basically, you can see the meter on the left. That's your air. If you have a water shield, you're of course have you of course have permanent air. Once again, this level's aesthetics are just so good. All the bamboo in the back, the clear lake. Reminds me of camping out in the um, uh, big lake in um, Arizona before it got meh. There's quite a few good spots in Oregon and Washington too, but eh. Uh... These enemies are irritating. Basically, they have a poisonous shield. You can hit them from above, though. And then you have Torpedo Ted's. Wait, no? It's not what the enemy is called? I actually don't know what they're called, sorry. <clears throat> but, yeah, this... There's a lot more to this level. Well, even though it looks like it's really straightforward, there's a lot trying to kill you. Again. These little bouncy balls kind of work like the um, bubble shield from Sonic 3 and his bounce attack in the Sonic Adventure in Sonic Adventure 2. Except it's only limited. Um, your attacks will last a little longer underwater because for some reason, you know, that's the way water physics work. You'd also do the rising slash mid swim. Which is kind of interesting. Boingy. 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 First progress, I think the water shield actually makes you immune to their attacks, but don't quote me on that. Because the water shield is pretty good against certain attacks, I just don't recall which ones. It certainly doesn't help against ice ones. These flowers are kind of cool. That's the that's one of the gimmicks of this level. You float on these. Although it's based on your momentum, so if you're not going that fast on them, you kind of start going slow like that. Whee! Yeah, this level's really big. Watch out for the, um, uh, Shang 2 guys. They're still chasing you because, well, yeah, you kind of escaped. They don't notice all these robots are grabbing, you know. Uh, could have investigated that fragment, but no, they had to be all smart and be like, Oh, you're part of the Red Scarves! <laughs> Then again, background checks are good. I guess. These little platforms are kind of weird. We finally get to see the shield actually absorb things. It's one of the better shields in my opinion because it absorbs life. Watch out for that missile. You the law. And here we have a mini boss of Mira. She uses the shields that you can use, and it takes a few hits to take them off, and then you can actually actively hit her. She has a ton of attacks which are ranged, like her um, uh, spear um, beam there, or uh, boomerang thing. She also has ice based powers which she will try to trap you with. Basically, she's the part of the game where it tells you if you start doing attacks randomly, you're not gonna win. She's actually really hard to fight your first time. I remember dying to her a few times. The second area is on the submarine, which 
honestly is really cool. Except it's not yellow. If only it was. Also, I forget how you do it, um, uh, but you can do a cyclone on the ground like you did right there. I do it on accident most of the time. I think it's kind of like how you do Peach's float on the ground in um, Smash Brothers. Like you hold down and you do a j double jump. Except that's not how Peach does it in Smash, you just jump while you're holding down. But anyway, enough of me being competitive at Smash. The um, submarines have a ton of areas, levels to them, and tons of crystals. So if you have the um, absorption, absorption shield, or yeah, I can't even say a word, absorption shield, bleh, then you should be getting tons of crystals in this level. If you want to go for that crystal in the adventure mode achievement, you'll want to take your time throughout every stage and try to get as many crystals as possible. This stage, Fortune Knight, and couple other future ones are really good for crystal hunts. Those um, uh, big frog guys take quite the number of hits. We're getting to the point where almost everything takes multiple hits now. <laughs> Especially an enemy type coming up later. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> nice going, Jane 2 soldiers. You just froze your captain. Anyways, you know, rain is a signifier of drama for some reason. It looks cool though. It makes the level look even better. Now we have Thunder. Which for some reason my mom would play Thunder tapes to me when I was a baby, so... Thunder is a really relaxing thing to me. So it can be like, oh, there's thunderstorms in the back. Why aren't you freaking out? Why aren't you freaking out? It relaxes me. What? Oh, what was that? Was that an enemy ship I saw? Oh. Yep, Torque's been captured. <laughs> I've got you now. Oh, hi, Serpentine. We haven't seen you for a full stage. He has the same strategy as he had in Fortune Knight, except now he shoots the missile that he used in Dragon Valley occasionally too, which is probably his easiest attack to avoid. Unless the explosion hits you near, hits near you. It can home in on you, but generally it's too weak of a home. After he's done with your Kung Fu tricks, he'll start dropping Brevin's Elite Guards on you. Brevin's Elite Guards take 8 hits to take out. 8. They do tons of damage with their blasters. So be careful as they, they um, start appearing more commonly after this fight. From here on, just break the glass screen. Avoid the shockwave shots and the um, missiles he'll occasionally launch down. And, um... Mila is now coming in, showing off her reflecting and laser abilities, which she will do for a ping pong effect here in a second, which was kind of awesome. I wish I could do that when I was playing as Mila. Then again, I haven't played too much as her. I'm kind of waiting for the DLC next month because that's when she gets like a full-on story mode. Oh so, yeah, just keep in the glass and Carol will come in and finish him off and with that. Jade Creek is complete. Hope you enjoy this. This is when everything starts kicking up a notch, folks. Enjoy. For this, we should go home. So that's it. We just leave and let Torque die. What are we supposed to do? I like Torque, but this is so much bigger than us. We're just kids. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Look at what they did to me. To us. 
Sometimes I feel like you're trying to get us killed. How can you say that? I put myself out there on the front line so you don't have to. Yeah, and I always have to bail you out. What's the problem with that? We're helping each other do the right thing. But I don't want to do the right thing. I just want to spend time with my best friend. If the only way I can do that is by risking my life, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Carol. Don't. Just don't. I'm done. It's okay. I'm going after him. Alone. Let me come with you. No. Carol's right. Friends shouldn't let each other get hurt. You should stay behind with her. Mila, stay here. I won't leave you.